doing a little experiment this morning. Um, as I showed you in my previous video on my boat, I have a big 101 amp hour battery in a smart battery box. And I also have a little Mighty Max 35 amp hour battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start the motor, which I've already started it. I can't show you because my timer's on here. But um, what I've done, let me turn you around. All right, guys. What I've done is I've started the motor. You can see the prop spinning. And I'm gonna let it run at 50%. I started it at 9.24 a.m. So it's been running two minutes. Right at, yeah, two minutes. At 50%. And this is the little battery I'm talking about. Um, it's a, there you go, Mighty Max batteries. And they're supposedly good little batteries. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sit there and run. I'm gonna do a test on that one. I'm gonna plug my charger in and top off this uh, big battery because I used it. I'm gonna top it off to a full charge. I'm gonna put a timer on it. And then I've got a Fat Max um, jump box and I'm going to hook it up and run it and see how long it lasts. This is just for peace of mind. I know, and well, I hope anybody that does these tests knows that when you are testing a trolling motor and you just got it spinning in the air, it has no resistance. So you got to do some math to get the correct time for how long it'll run on that battery. Um, I'll try to put the formula up in a picture in picture thing on the video but i'm i'm just doing this to see how far i can go how long i can expect it to last because all my lights with the exception of two which is my red and green running lights they run on my main battery but everything else my big spotlight uh, my fish finder and my 360 light on the back are all battery operated. They use little batteries. They don't they don't run off my main battery. And with a pulse width modulator, sorry about getting my hand in there, guys. With a pulse width modulator, you are supposed to be extending your battery life to up to four times longer than what it would do. Because the way a trolling motor works, and I know some of y'all probably know this. But the way a trolling motor works is the windings of the motor itself, when whether you got it in speed one or speed five, it uses the same amount of current. To slow the speed down, it dissipates the unused current as heat through the windings in the motor and the water cools it down or disperses it. But that's how a trolling motor works. With a pulse width modulator, it, it pulses, does exactly what the name says. It pulses the electricity to it at whatever you've got it set at on that dial. Like I've got it set at 50, that's 50%. And it's throwing short bursts. Um, I'll have to find the paperwork to tell you how fast the bursts are. I'm not sure on this one. I remember reading it, but I don't remember what it was. I got old fart brain. But I'm gonna let this run and I'm gonna let y'all see how long it runs on each battery. That way you'll know if you buying a battery or gonna buy a battery or a trolling motor and you're interested in a pulse width modulator, I'll sh open the box and show you a more detailed uh, idea what that is and what it does. But the trolling motor, um, it's a Water Snake Tracer 30. I think my wife found that thing for uh, I think she said it was $89.99 on sale. So, I mean, they're a very affordable option for a motor and seems to be a good motor. It works just as good as any men code I've ever had. Um, the only thing I've done to it is I added the bull nose rudder. I mounted my transducer on it and I turned the head around for it to be a bow mount because when you buy that particular one, it comes as um, a transom mount to go on the back. So I just rotated the head around where I can, it'll be just like it was intended to be. It's just the heads backwards where I can go forwards in the front instead of having to use reverse. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let her run right there 
at 50% on that little battery right there. And we're gonna see how long she runs. And it's very quiet. Let's see if y'all can hear that. It's barely just woo 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 is all it's doing. Look down there. There's Captain Kirk. Good morning. Good morning, buddy bear. How are you this morning? Huh? How are you this morning? <laughs> But anyway, I'll come back in a little while and we'll see what we got. And I, oh, I also got a, a little battery uh, monitor thing. I'm gonna hook up that and I'll show you when I get that hooked up. All right, guys, there's the battery monitor. It's at 12.5 volts and you can see the little meter there. And that's why it's running. If you turn the motor off, it'll go back up to 13 something, but that's what she's running right now. We'll check it here in a little bit. All right, guys, it is now. 11.02 You see that? Alright There's the battery meter If y'all can see that I'm trying to 12.4 Still at 50% Still tootling along So we'll come back shortly and see what it's doing Alright guys, this uh 11 30 so we started 9 24 10 24 11 24 was two hours so it's been a little over two hours and as you can see right there it's still at 24 i mean uh 12.4 and three quarters of the bar on the little battery thing and the only thing i see is you can put your hand on it. it's very there's very little warmth on it and that could be the sun i mean mostly because it wasn't hot earlier. I felt it several times. But, uh, yeah, um, two hours and it ain't even moved the current. So I'm going to let it run. And if my motor starts getting a little too hot, I might turn it off but and put it in a bucket of water. But it's still getting a, yeah, I can touch the top of that battery box. And it's hot too, so I think the heat on that is from the sun. I got a little umbrella. I might put it in the shade because it ain't in the water. So I'll get back with y'all in just a minute. There we go, guys. I keep that in that back pouch right there in case a quick shower comes up. But I got it in the shade. And I'm almost certain. Yeah, it's already cooler. That's what it is, is the sun was hitting dead on that black motor case and getting him a little hot. But yeah, I'm gonna let it run and we'll see. But uh, I'm very impressed with that little battery because um, that's only a... I mean, that thing probably weighs, shit, I don't know, eight pounds, maybe, maybe eight, but it's a, it's a small battery, and so far it's doing good, and I'm trying to get revenge on some of the trees that fell on my building and fell on my other building where I showed y'all that hole the other day, but yeah, there it is, let that be a lesson to you, but anyway, yeah, those are he's doing this stalking in the weeds slow motion thing somewhere so but uh yeah i'll uh i'll get back with y'all in another hour or so we'll see how it's doing thank you guys oh uh, in the workshop it's uh it's slowly coming together slowly coming together i'm getting stuff out of my boat building and getting it in here getting it put up but yeah it's uh it's getting there slowly but surely. Check this out, guys. My little building came with fishing rod holders. How about that? Bass rods, crappie rods, and I gotta put my catfish rods up there. Cool. Got my fan on. It was a little fall like this morning, but still, summer's still fighting to hang on. But uh, it's now 12. Look at my arm. That's what bushes do to me. It's old man skin. But it's uh, 12.28. We started at 9.24. But let's see what we got. All right, she's still spinning. Still on 12 point. Can y'all see that? 12.4. And one bar less than three quarters. And that's 9, 10, 11, 12. That's three hours. And still going strong. I don't think I'm ever going to have any problem with just using that small battery. 
Um, I might end up leaving the small battery, take that big boy off and put it in the tank jack and put my Fat Mac jump pack on here just in case. Um, Cause that thing, I mean, with that pulse width modulator, it sips, it just, it's like my wife's Prius is on gas. It just sips it. Um, that fire, let me show y'all, since I got some more of them big logs on that fire, I might bring me a steak out here later and grill him up. Look at the bed of coals. Look at that. Look at that. That is hot. That's him, that, that log fell on my roof right there. That's what that can's doing up yonder. If I can get it done. Yeah, I just fixed that hole or patched it. I got to put another uh, coat on it. But yeah, it's... uh burning well and I got most all the sticks up I'm get slowly getting my boat shed cleaned out or I can have a place to roll my new boat right here I'm gonna make a, a platform for it and I'm gonna get old pair looking up on its stand and but yeah I'll uh, I'll check back with y'all in another hour or so and we'll see where it's at then another thing guys I saw brother Tommy over at Enduring Patriot made a video Mine is not exactly like his. It's a twenty. Mine's a twenty-one volt, and it's a. I can Is that a G ped? I guess G ped chainsaw. Um, but I cut all them big logs that's out there on that fire. I cut them up with that little saw right there, and I think my wife got that for me for like thirty dollars on sale. It come with two batteries, a charger, extra chain, safety glasses, and a little cheap pair of gloves. But man, that little thing will cut. Um, and I didn't want to do a video on it, copy Brother Tommy, because he's done covered everything and probably better than I would anyway. But uh, I hope you're doing well, Brother Tommy. I'm still enjoying them knives, brother. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to try to send you a little something here in the next day or two if I remember. If I don't remember, it might be a little longer than that, but I get my wife or either Siri to remind me. But, uh, yeah, if y'all ain't checked out Brother Tommy's channel, it's Enduring Patriot man the man is a patriot and and just a I, I thank him for his service in about every time i talk to him because they don't make them like him no more uh i tell you I, I look around me every day at work and just out when i'm out in town and i try to stay away from there as much as i can <sighs> if it wasn't for my wife i'd be living in the middle of the mountain somewhere in a little old cabin and and just as far away from this shit as I could get but we have to deal with what we've got and that's what I'm doing right now now in the future I can't make no guarantees because I got my eye on several liveaboard sailboats that people are wanting to get rid of and they tired of fooling with them and they're not that expensive and so you know but anyway uh, that's another video but yeah well, my fire is caught back up look at that thing wind come through give it a little breeze and it caught back up all right but yeah i'll get back with you on that motor here shortly guys all right guys if you can see that 12.5 that meter ain't moved and i'll show you a picture a little over five hours and to be honest with you i just got tired of messing with it so there's that battery so i don't think i got nothing to worry about but I'll get you turned around and I'll finish this up. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the, this box I made is an old, uh, just a little plastic box I had laying around. I'm not even sure what it was, but this little switch here is this old headlight switch off a lawnmower. That turns on the little uh, cooling fan I put in there. And then this is your digital readout. This is forward and reverse. And this is your speed selection. Goes from zero to 100. And inside is all my wiring. I tried to keep it neat as I could. And uh, this is your PWM module. And what it is is which I got that fan wired in, that little fan, you can see it right there. And I drilled some holes in this side where it could air through. I just got this little box in the bottom there to keep it up off, uh, 
thing up off the bottom in case it does get a little water in it. But you got a set of wires coming from your battery to feed it. And then you got a set of wires coming out going to a fused link to the trolling motor. But that's all it is. You order this thing. I think this one was 12 or $15 on uh, Amazon. But yeah, it's a, it's a neat little gadget and it'll sure save you some battery. Cause I tell you, that thing is still it's at 12.5 and it lost one bar and it wasn't but like at like 87% when I started. So yeah, that ain't too bad, I don't think. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, get in the shade right here. But I really appreciate y'all guys. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you can find something useful out of it. And if you have any questions at all, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. I don't mind answering them. And I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, and uh, anyway, I've yakkered and talked long enough. So, and I wanted to say, um, Sister Donna, I really thank you for taking the time to make that fire kit video when I tagged you. And that's a friggin impressive fire kit you got there <laughs> i ain't even kidding and i told everybody when i tagged you that you love fired up friday and uh you did not disappoint but uh god bless you and we love you and thank you sister but i'm gonna get off of here and uh as always god bless you i appreciate y'all and uh i'll see you in the next video